One of the more underrated players that's played for the Patriots for quite some time now is Deron Harmon. No one's going to mistake him for an all-pro level talent, however, he's definitely a very good player and he just has those tendencies that show up in the big moments, and he also earned a nickname The Closer just for his ability to seemingly just find ways to get game-clinching interceptions game after game. In his six-year career, he's never had a season where he hasn't picked up at least one interception, and he has 15 over his career, which is pretty solid. And he's also picked up four interceptions both of the last two seasons, which is quite impressive, and so I figured it might be fun to go back and break down all four interceptions that he had from last season. The first one was this one against Kansas City, and basically the way it's going to work is it's going to be a buzz concept. That's what you see on the screen, similar to a cover 2, except instead of the safeties playing deep, they're going to be playing pretty shallow right there at the, you know, 5 yard line or so. That's going to be Travis Kelsey's route, and it's definitely not really the best route to run in this type of situation. If it was a cover 2 man, it probably would be, because the safeties would be deeper, however, since it is this buzz concept, this now means that not only is he going to be trying to get away from the guy who's in charge of covering him, but he's also going to be running into where two other New England players are. So it's definitely not the best route to run in this formation, and as you see, once this play develops, he is not going to get very open at all. And also worth mentioning, that's where Harmon is on the screen. He's on the top half of the screen on this one. So as you see, once this play develops, this really isn't working out too well for Kansas City, there's not a receiver open. However, it kind of becomes scramble drill at this point, where Kelsey kind of says, well, hey, the play's still going on, Mahomes is going to try to run out of the pocket, so I'm going to try to see if I can, you know, get open. That's what you're supposed to do when a quarterback runs out of the pocket. One thing you'll notice is that despite Kelsey going to the bottom half of the screen, which is pretty far away from where Harmon was initially in charge of covering, he's still going to follow him in that direction, and that's the correct thing to do here. Mahomes is already breaking to the bottom half of the screen, so the chances of him making a cross-the-body throw all the way to the top half of the screen, I mean, he's Mahomes, so he could probably pull it off, but the chances of that happening are small. And it's also worth mentioning that this is man coverage, not zone, so it's not like he's going to be leaving anybody potentially wide open if he does cut to the bottom half of the screen. So because of that, he's going to hang with Kelsey, and Mahomes tries to make a throw anyways, which is a bad decision, and Harmon's able to pick it off. His next one was against the Minnesota Vikings, and this one was actually a very fascinating one. That's where he is on the screen, and this is going to be a cover 3 safety, and he's playing the free safety in the cover 3. So Minnesota has a receiver running a go route right over there, which can be effective against the cover 3 zone, and that is where Kirk Cousins is going to try to throw the ball to. One thing you'll notice right off the bat, right after this ball is snapped and the play develops, is that that receiver is about to get open. Meanwhile, that's where Harmon is, and if I'm being honest, he actually kind of was a bit slow on this one. He didn't quite make his read as quickly as possible, and it's going to be a little bit slow in getting over to the bottom half of the screen, and once you see, as more of this play goes on, there is a definite window for Kirk Cousins to try to make this throw. However, Harmon didn't quit. Harmon made sure he closed as much distance as possible, so he's still somewhat into play and can still help do something, and that's oftentimes a lot of what being a safety is. I mean, if you're a safety, positioning is everything, so getting out of position is already a failure in a sense. But it's also basically going to happen to every single safety, and you got to be able to make sure that you can capitalize on your mistakes and, you know, make sure that you come back and try to get into the play. Just because there is a window to make the throw doesn't mean it's going to be a perfect throw, and this throw is actually going to be a little bit behind, but you're going to allow the ball to get batted up, and Harmon is able to get the interception out of it. You you can't say, oh, well, he's got a couple steps on me, so I'll just give up. No, run over and make sure that he still only has a couple of steps on you when the throw actually gets to him. Then if the throw is behind, well, you can still potentially make a play on the ball. That's why you have to give 100% in all plays, because you just don't know what's going to happen. It was a good athletic play for sure, but it was also just a good hustle play, so really just an all-around good play. Moving on to his third interception, that was against the Pittsburgh Steelers, and it's going to be a cover one blitz, but what's interesting is what's going to actually happen here. For one thing, there is going to be pressure, but also for another thing, that's the receiver that Ben Roethlisberger is going to try to throw to. So again, maybe perhaps there is a small window that could be open here, however, look at Harmon. He's watching this ball all the way, he's prepared for whatever is going to happen, and that's actually key because Roethlisberger is going to miss this throw, he's going to throw it too high. So again, this is where awareness comes in. Had he maybe had his head down a little bit or was looking at the receiver before looking up to see where the ball is, then it could have easily just fallen incomplete. But because he was watching Roethlisberger a lot on display, watching where Roethlisberger is throwing the ball to, he's already able to run over to the top half of the screen before Roethlisberger even throws the ball. And since he missed the throw, this ends up being a relatively easy interception, but it was an easy interception because of the work he did being aware before the ball was thrown. It's kind of like, you know, sometimes in hockey you see a goalie make a save where he's just right in position and makes an easy save, so it looks easy. But what you don't realize is that beforehand, he had to get over in position by moving from left to right or something, so it was actually a very difficult play once you see the replay. Well, that's kind of what it was like for Harmon there. And yes, it was a poor throw from Roethlisberger, but hey, you gotta take advantage of poor throws. You have to take advantage of your opponent's mistakes, and that's exactly what Harmon did there. His last interception was also against the Steelers, and it was this one. It's gonna be a cover two man, and take a look at what's gonna happen. They have a receiver who's trying to get open on the top half of the screen, however, since there's another receiver who's sort of in the way, this is just gonna be a big cluster, and really this isn't a throw to Roethlisberger. Roethlisberger should have made. So because of that, this play already probably isn't going to work out. However, notice Harmon here. 
He's already running in. He already realized, hey, this is going to be a throw in that direction, so I have to try to get over there to maybe make a tackle or just get in the area of the play. It ends up just sort of getting tipped and Harmon finds a way to get it, but again, that's good defense, really. Yeah, I mean, it was fluky, the ball got tipped and he was able to make the catch, but it was also just a good skill to be in position to potentially get a tipped ball for a catch. That's kind of a thing, you know, people always say the Patriots are lucky, all the bounces seem to go their way, but you know, there's kind of a reason for that. I mean, if you're a smart player, you put yourself in position to where when a bounce does go your way, you're in position to make that play, where, you know, players and other teams don't do that. That's kind of one of the things that makes the Patriots so great, and it's definitely one of the things that makes Harmon so great.